How's it going, you lot? Welcome to L19BAU's channel. Today, we are going to be talking about real fitment, so let's get straight into it. Brian Little. <laughs> Right, so yeah, there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed that little clip of my wheels. Um, I'll get into talk about my wheels and the offsets and everything. Going into wheel fitment today, guys. So let's start off with the first thing. We've got five of them, the things to talk about, and the first one is offset themselves. You buy a, a, an oil alloy or a rim or a steel wheel, whatever you want to call it. Usually in the back, on the back of it, it's going to have an, uh, it's going to have two words, ET, then like two numbers after that as well. So like ET30, ET20, stuff like that. So mine are ET20. That's why I've got that concave effect. Basically, the lower the offset, guys, the more it's going to like, the more the wheel that it's going to come in from the hub, it's going to concave out to the spoke. So basically, you're going to have that caving effect on your wheel, the lower the offset you go. And usually when you have um, low offset wheels, that's usually where you're going to start getting wider alloys and stuff like that as well, compared to normal stuff like ET40s and stuff like that. The higher the number, obviously, it's going to be more flat to the hub. So like with the Fiesta ST alloys themselves, as you notice, there's, there's a complete difference compared to my wheels, compared to the Fiesta ST wheels. They're completely flat um, against the hub. They don't concave in or anything like that. And that's the difference between having a low offset and having a higher offset. So yeah, if you want to check out my wheels, there's plenty of posts on Instagram and stuff like that. If you want to get more, if you want to see the, like, the offset, what, what it would be like having a low offset. Moving on to the width of tyres. Um, this is the second thing. All the, all the widths in millimetres. So on the screen right now will be my tyre size. I'm running a 205, 45, 16 on mine. Um, I'll get into that later on, but that is my tyre size for just to let you guys know. I am not running spacers. I'm telling you now, guys, I'm not running spacers. I've had so many comments saying, Luke, are you running spacers? What spacers are you running at? I'm not running spacers. Because I've got a low offset, that is why these wheels stick out like they do. But yeah, I'll get onto that later on. We'll talk about width for the tyres, like I said. They're in millimetres. Um, mine's obviously 205 millimeters. Now getting the right tire width is down to you guys. You can go for what you want. Just don't go getting stupid stuff like stretching out. If I, like on my wheels, a 7J, if I ran like 175, 185s, it'd be stretching the shit out of them. And like at nine times out of 10, you're gonna end up with blowouts and stuff like that if you're driving it as a daily. Now I know a lot of you kids on like Slamber fucking market, Slamber city and shit like that. Just wanna slam your cars and have your little fucking edge of the rim sticking out on the arch and shit like that you do that right you go ahead if you want to be low and slow go for that um go for like a bigger wheel with a low low tire like a low width tire you're gonna get stretched and you're probably gonna get pulled over by the police but in the day it's your car you want to modify it everyone modifies everything these days so yeah go ahead do that that's basically what you want to do if you want to you know get like a wide uh, get a rim effect and look like that i'm running 205s because it protects the rim more itself and um, still like, protects it from stone chips and stuff like that. And also, it gives it more of like a track look. And obviously, I get more grip on the road, so more surface area for the tire to spread out across the road. So yeah, that's the reason why I've gone for wider. Um, you can go for the normal size, which I think is a 195 on these, but I went for the extra 10 mil bigger. It's not a huge amount, obviously 10 mils, fuck all. But um, yeah, that's why I've gone for that. So yeah, that's just an in-depth from width of tyres, it's always in millimetres guys, no matter what the size is, if it's 195, 175, 235, anything like that, it's always in millimetres, so make sure you just get that right. So that's that one. Third thing is the aspect ratio. So this is the number after the width of the tyre, so it'll be like 205, 45. So with mine, yeah, like I said, it's 205, 45 with mine. Uh, that is the percentage of the uh, of the width of the tyre. So my, my sidewall is 45% of the of the of the width of my tire so it's really complicated to get into really i don't want to go too much in depth about it um if you're looking to it more then go online and just type in the aspect ratio of your side tire wall but obviously as well the higher the percentage the, the thicker your tire wall is going to be the lower the percentage the lower your tire wall is going to be now bearing in mind if you want to go low profile things like that go ahead but i'm telling you now from my work workers experience and working in a, in a tire garage i specialize in tires 
we get a lot of people coming in from hitting potholes, getting punctures, just because they're running low profile tires. So that's the risk you gotta take when you're running low profile. But you know, at the end of the day, if you want your car to look good, that's the sort of thing you wanna go for. Now with mine, I've gone for a thicker tire wall just because I want it to look, again, look like it's a track car and you know, it gives it a really meaty look to the tire. And you know, you get a lot more protection, like I said, over the rim itself with that thicker tire wall. So yeah, that's that one. That's the third thing, yeah. Moving on to the, um, on sort of rims their self. Now, obviously at the end of it, it'll be 205, 45, 16. So mine is 16 inch wheels. Like I said, don't take a genius to work this one out. Come on guys, don't fuck about, you know, you know, if, if you get this wrong, you've seriously got some shit going on right now. But yeah, 16 inch wheel, make sure you buy the right fucking tire. Don't have to put it through all your heads. Just make sure you buy the right tire. Um, but just look, it's easy. It'll be on your wheel, it'll be located. What size the fucking wheel is? It'll be like 16 times four by 108, whatever your fitment is, um, and stuff like that. Just make sure you get the right size wheel. If you're gonna get a bigger wheel, now I've had people say like, if you get a bigger wheel, is my car gonna be lower or is it gonna be higher? Your car will still stay at the same, you know, same height because you've, you've got your springs on. It's not gonna fucking adjust the springs, is it? Unless. Unless you've got coilovers, obviously, you can adjust them then. But it's not going to adjust the springs through, through rim. Now, if you do go for a bigger rims, you just need to watch out. Because, obviously, you don't want to start tearing up your um, wheel arches with having rims that are too big. Now, I would say for four Fiestas, I reckon 18 to 19 inch rims is as fucking as big as you're going to go, really. Go any more than that and you're going to... Oh, it's just going to look ridiculous, I'd fucking personally say. But then it's up to you guys if you want to do what you want to your cars. But that's it for rims. Just make sure you play it safe. Just get, you know... I'll stick within the 17... Like, I'll stick within, like, the 15 to the 17, 18 inch range for that. So I've just got a dog walker going past, so hold on. But yeah, typical me filming on a Sunday and there's loads of dog walkers out. But yeah, that's the fourth thing, obviously. Moving on to the fifth one is... The prices of rims and uh, prices of alloys, buying cheap or buying expensive alloys. Now, obviously, you can go out and get forged alloys, and you can go out and get yourself a cheap set of cheap Chinese alloys. I don't even know. Just make sure you get yourself some decent alloys. I mean, even if they're OEM original, you know they're not going to fuck up. If you hit a pothole, it's not going to bounce through and take your shock out and you're fucking... You'll have your um, top mount shooting out your fucking bonnet and stuff like that. Just make sure you just get yourself a set of decent alloys. I'm running Team Dynamics. Obviously, as you know, they're a really lightweight um, alloy and they are a well-known company. A lot of Br uh, BTCC, British Touring Cars, um, racers, right, cup racing cars use them. Um, have good makes like Bola, you've got Rotor, you've got 3DSMs, you've got 1552s, there's so many good ones. Just don't go buy the cheap copies of things like that. You know, you'll be able to tell them they're mile off because they'll be like fucking, I've seen Cosworth copies and that before, that from China, selling them for like 150 quid. If you're cheap, you know you're, you're doing it wrong. Just don't, if you buy cheap, you buy twice and you end up paying more for expensive ones and you've just wasted like 200 quid on cheap ones. So yeah, just make sure you do fine on buying yourself a decent set of, um, of alloys, obviously, because you don't want, you know, you don't want them ruined after just hitting like a little pothole, or you don't want them to just, you know, just fuck up, basically, right. But yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. We are literally about to hit 800 subscribers. I literally cannot believe it. I am absolutely over the, over the fucking moon right now. Um, It's just gone mad. It's like we've gone up like 100 or 200 subscribers within the past few days. So honestly, I can't thank you guys enough, but we do need to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark because there is going to be a fucking shit hot giveaway going when we do get to that mark. But yeah, that's that, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit that bell notification uh, bell button if you want to be notified every time i upload um and that's pretty much it just like the comment like the video comment down below if i've missed anything so i've pretty much got in my head i think i've you know you've got that feeling when you think you've forgotten something i probably have but i'm hungry i'm gonna get food now and i'm gonna edit this video for you guys but yeah just like the video um check out my social media it will all be down in the description below as always guys if you want to see the fitment on my wheels it's on my instagram there's plenty of photos and yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching i will see you all in the next episode like i said there's big things coming at the end of this month so stay tuned for that i'll see you all in the next one bye bye for now Lingers after fire